Uh, so we're paramedics. When you get hired, you get put on with a crew for, I think it was six weeks for her, just to get kind of a feel for the city and how things run. And as the time went on together, like, I mean, keep it as professional as I could. But when the six weeks was up, like, I, I, I knew I wanted more. And I, I, again, took a shot and it worked out. I mean, here we are. Got up at, I think it was like 2.45 in the morning to hike up to catch the sunrise over a volcano in like this gigantic crater. But like sitting there, you know, like her in my arms watching the sun come up, like we could be back alley in Ottawa, we could be, again, other side of the world. I'm happiest with her with me. Bronwyn, again, like I, I, I love you so much that I, I can't, words alone can't express it. Like I don't ever want to be without you. I don't want go a day without you, let alone a lifetime. You're my missing piece. You're the other part of the equation for me. Your hand in mine is where I want it to be for the rest of our lives. Right in my wheelhouse. It's not true. Craig and I met first when I started my career as a paramedic and he was going to be my mentor for the first six weeks on the job. Some of my best friends were in town the weekend after I finished my orientation with him so we weren't going to be working together anymore and we were both kind of sad about it. The next day he texted me and said, I don't know, I should have done this a long time ago but I'd love to have dinner with you sometime and then he invited me over to his house and he made me chicken parmesan and it was delicious. <laughs> and he folded the napkins into swans. <laughs> last time I saw my grandfather before he passed and we went to visit him in the hospital and he was not doing well. My grandfather's little oxygen cannula came out of his nose and Craig just you know, very gently went up to him and said you know let me adjust your bow tie here. And it was just this very sweet moment between the two of them and it was just from then on I knew he was the one forever. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I can't imagine my life without you. I just can't wait to marry you. <laughs> Stop that, <Emily>. Mark. <laughs> you look unreal. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> you look absolutely incredible. I, like it. I love it. <laughs> I held together so well. <laughs> I love you too. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Me neither. You ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I love you so much. I love you too. Today, Bronun and Craig demonstrate their devotion to each other by dedicating themselves to a life together. By setting forth to honor the vows they create today, their lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. To all their guests, and apparently the birds as well, we are thrilled to share this moment with you. Bronwyn and Craig would like to recognize their parents on this occasion. They've also asked that we take a moment to honor those loved ones who are not here with us today. Bronwyn's beloved grandmother, Noni, who is no longer able to travel, but always remains close to her heart. And her grandfather, Don, who we know is looking down on us today through his favorite pair of binoculars. 
When you first stepped out of your car outside of Metcalf, I didn't think I was meeting my future wife and life partner. Uh, but there you were. It didn't take me long to know that I wanted you to be a larger part of my life. So I swung for the fences. I spent an evening on pins and needles waiting for a text message, followed by indecisive pacing around the living room until I finally ran out the house to meet you. I don't want to be without you or the critters snuggled on the couch. I don't want a day to go by that I don't hear your voice. I will dry your tears and provide comfort. I will celebrate your accomplishments and victories. I promise to help shoulder your burdens and challenges for there is nothing we cannot face if we stand together. Finally, because words can't do it alone, I promise to show you how much I love you every day for the rest of our lives. From this day forward, you'll never walk alone. I moved away from my friends and family to start my career in Ottawa. I was lonely, scared, and uncertain about this huge life decision I had just made for myself. Then I met you, and all my apprehension and uncertainty disappeared. Each day that passed as we worked side by side, I grew to know the gentle, witty, thoughtful, selfless, and passionate man that you are, and I became more and more certain that I was falling in love with you. I knew that our story was only just beginning. Today, you become my husband. I will always be proud of you. <laughs> and I'll be proud to call myself your wife. It is a personal privilege and a great joy to be the first one to introduce to you Craig and Bronwyn as husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> It is so special to be here with all of you and to watch our sweetest sister marry the love of her life. When Braun secured her job as a paramedic here in Ottawa, we couldn't have been more proud. To this day, we always laugh about how we knew Craig was the one for Braun when he so kindly agreed to be our DD that weekend and drove us home from a beer festival, only to have the three of us girls singing Disney songs at the top of our lungs all the way home. Thankfully, we didn't scare him away, and we are so pleased to say that Craig won over both Meg and I that night. From the moment we were introduced to Craig, we could tell how happy he made our sister. There was a calmness and an ease to Braun that we just hadn't seen before. Craig, we couldn't be happier to welcome you into our family. To the very happy couple, Braun and Craig, we wish you a lifelong happy marriage filled with so much love. As you've already heard, Braun has always had great determination. The love and happiness and pride I felt while walking you down the aisle today to your prince, I will treasure forever. My confident, poised, wonderful daughter is now married and embarking on a whole new stage of her life with Craig. I couldn't be happier for you both, and I'm so glad you found each other. So to Bronwyn and Craig.